never had that privilege of going through indigestion. <laughs> You know, that's it. No. <laughs> you know, yes, you know. And that's the whole thing about life is that, and especially now in our, this part of our journey, because life is this constant journey that we are on. So this journey that we are on, this awareness of spirituality, information is our indigestion that we are going through now. Too much information, which is good. I mean, it's vital, but it's so much, you know. Like just coming here, just within a couple minutes, we had the mirror, we had the mother, compassion, <laughs> we had the information of sleeping well, you know. So many, so much good stuff. We need all this stuff, but yet how we digest it is very important. And the first thing I was very impressed about is the mirror. You know, when we watch in the mirror, what we see. This is one of our old video in Raj Yoga. Yeah. One of our first introduction course. What do we see when we watch Journey. into the mirror? So how do I take these thoughts and make it beneficial for myself? What do I do with it? Or, just, or I just hear it through its ears and go through there and it causes this stressed and tension is because I haven't really circled it or put it in the right place that it's supposed to go and reflect it and make it become profitable for myself. So all these thoughts that I'm accumulating and I take into myself, what am I doing with it? What am I doing with that realization or that thought of who I am, what I am. And Ross gave me a very interested sign last couple of Sundays, I think it was. Um, what is it, Ross? Um, this is a good sign? Yes, this is a good sign. And this is a good sign. So the sign that we have seen today in life, is this a good sign? How many of us here feel it is a good sign? Yeah, we are sure. And why is it a good sign? What we have seen? We're learning. Hmm? We're learning. We are learning and learning for what? What is when we see things that happen in the the yeah. destruction, the unjusticeness and all these kind of things. Why are we saying it's a good sign? Tell us. No. <laughs> this is, these are signs to help to bring us to the awareness that changes Peace and this <coughs> serenity. But then by the time I get up, I don't even have to go to the door. Something happening. So how am I dealing with it? And I think this is the beautiful thing about Raj Yoga philosophy. It just don't deal with the myth of the self, but it deal with the reality, the practical reality of living, breathing 24-7. So my attitude, what it is influenced by my consciousness and my consciousness, how is it developing? Am I like the mother, nurturing it? giving it that compassion, being tolerant, all these kind of things. So we could use these, all these information and instead of getting indigestion, we could kind of baconize something with it. <laughs> you know, do something good with it. So more and more we got to understand how this self, this I, this consciousness is operating that passes all understanding. So all of this, this is my true nature. It's not something that I'm supposed to get from out there or I gotta make a lot of effort, but I just have to want it. That is the greatest thing, wanting it. If I don't want it, no mind how much information comes to me, it will just go. So to the extent that I want, 
that really experience my true reality. To the extent that I'm willing to, what the old folks say, walk the talk. Mm -hmm. It's only then that I will really get the full essence of the joy of existence. So whenever I hold that mirror, the privilege of the external, yes, it's there, I appreciate it, but I am influencing the external now. So even watching in the mirror, I'm not really seeing what it's showing me, but it is a reflection of the privilege. So life is the same. The present is the gift. So every time I watch it in the mirror, the present moment, this may be changing through the influence of external, but what am I? Am I changing? So more and more I encourage you all, this is my journey <coughs> of really, and I think this is basically what the source is saying to us and what information that we are getting. So for who you are, and understanding that source and the Father and that being for what it is or he or she is. And once I could understand that, even in my meditation, in my sessions and my reflection, as I was thinking the other day that, you know, one of the things we say in meditation, when the mind is constantly being that monkey and stressing you out, just observe it, yeah? Mm -hmm. But then, if I ob when I observe in it, if I am not observing it in the right prospect, I don't, beco I don't observe it, I become influenced by it, because I, I start to identify with everything. Yes. So, you know, I, I quite often at meditation, in meditation, when I share with the, my fellow students and I ask them, so how was the meditation? Oh, it was nice, but you know, I was struggling. My mind was all over. And quite often this kind of happened. So why did this happen? Is that I start to identify with those thoughts. I start to wonder with it. I start to put my energy towards it. I really don't observe it as a true observer, as a detached spiritual being. So I, more and more I need to develop that consciousness of seeing myself as that point of conscious energy. What is the form of this conscious energy? Feeling comfortable as an alien. You know, one of the things I always say, I'm privileged to be an American and a double American because I'm an alien. Before I get my citizenship, I was recognized as an alien. <laughs> this is up to now, I haven't got it completely right. Every day I'm still trying to, but every day information is coming so strong. As you know, now I see this chap, Peter Russell, this scientist, he was an atheist. And now he is a great explorer of the aspect of consciousness. And he's going into depth with it, and he's coming to that realization and challenging his fellow scientists with the concept that the true self, which was always there and was never really non-existent or evolved as they feel consciousness has rise. No, he's saying that no, consciousness was always there. But what is happening now is that as the minds of men become more higher and more in an upgraded stage, man, what we have seen man's minds are doing today, the great creation that is taking place through the minds of men. And it is that same mind that makes us lost our innocent nature. So more and more as we can be appreciative of what our great minds has done, we must not get 
this entanglement of lost sin, the essence of that who I what am. is happening. And have that desire not only to relax, but want to go further. Want to know what it is that is causing you to relax. And have that incentive to be prepared to do what it takes to be in that knowledgeable state that it wouldn't happen as, as Rod's favorite word is magic, <laughs> but that magic, as she will tell you, has the depths of knowledge. That's why they conflicted. So magic, if we have the knowledge of it, definitely things will happen in a majestical way. Well, having a human mm -hmm. existence to make it more simple for people when they're meditating. So if you think of yourself instead of, you know, weigh the two, here's the human and here's the spiritual. So we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Makes it, you understand this, that, that makes it clearer in a way because that is I. Yeah, because, you know, we need to get it clear when we are meditating what is happening. And in this way, it becomes an incentive, not that when we meditate we feel relaxed and peaceful, but the minute we get up and we start, we are something else. We got to go back again. But as we practice with knowledge, and this is the deep secret of the Brahma Kumar philosophy, it is knowledge yoga. It is Raj Yoga, it is the highest form of union. It's not just union, the highest. And when we understand the source and God and the being and consciousness, how it operates, without wisdom, we start to have that attitude of what the source has. And do God go through stress? Do God go through pain? Do God go through all that we find ourselves pulled pull down with? No, because of knowledge. So this is what I find so useful through the philosophy and teaching and meditation with Raj Yoga meditation, different from other meditation, is that it gave me that fortune of becoming a master. <laughs>